You like the pond? No? Okay. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Why is it so blurry? I can't get a full sentence in without this rooster crowing. Good morning. What's going on guys? It's Nick from Team Aquascape. We are over here at Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. This place, if you haven't watched the video from last December, is absolutely unbelievable. He's got so many different types of animals, very well taken care of. This is his passion. And if you remember from last time, his story is absolutely incredible. A few years ago, he had a terrible accident and basically his barn burned to the ground with all of his animals inside of it. He is finally getting back on track over here. We are here for the second installment of Aquascape Water Feature here. This thing is gonna be kick butt. So before we get too deep into this project, guys, let's go catch up with Blake and Ed and go through a quick project overview. And then I'm gonna sink the first bucket into the ground and we're gonna get this thing excavated in no time whatsoever. This right here, this little orange square that's right here is actually the size requirements for the animals that we're getting here. This is four by eight, but the size that we're making here is actually gonna be a 25 by <laughs> 15. It's gonna be absolutely massive for the animals that are coming here on the ranch. So they're gonna really like it, I think. Yeah, I mean, look at the difference the of difference, this little. Yeah. I mean, this is just part of the pond. Yeah, and then there's, we're stretching all the way back. And then they have all of them there to run around too. This is some crazy enclosure for them, for sure. We're gonna have to interrupt this digging session real quick because guess what? Rock is here. All right guys, so we just got the rock delivered here and it is some awesome, awesome looking stuff. Probably some of the better stuff that we've ever had the chance to work with down here. So now I'm getting really excited to start putting these rocks in the pond. But before we do that, we gotta finish digging it. So as you can see, I got the pond mostly dug out over here. What I am gonna have to do though, is I came back and I'm starting to dig out this intake bay before I get too far that way, where I can't have access to this. Once this is dug, I'll go ahead and move back. We'll start finishing up those edges there, and then I'll push all that stuff back that way and create our berm for our wetland filtration area. So we got about three quarters of the way through our excavation in that pump intake bay, and uh, we hit a little snag, a little bump in the road. For any of you guys that think Florida is just a bunch of sand, I actually have proof right now that it is not just a bunch of sand. Blake, what Soft. the heck, dude? Corals, it doesn't break. <laughs> You're chipping on a mountain. We are exactly three feet. That's perfect, then, right? <laughs> so we'll be good because we only need to be two and a half over there. So this is that really hard layer. I think we're in good shape. And thank goodness for Blake because Ed and I were just about done chipping this <laughs> stuff away. And Blake is always the first one in the help. We'll let him pick away at that a little bit more and we'll get the rest of that pond excavated out. So as you can see here, we actually came in and backfilled with sand. The reason for that is because like I was saying, we hit that hard rock bottom right here and we couldn't dig any lower. So what we ended up doing is getting the vault all the way down at that rock bottom level. And then we backfilled with sand, actually Blake and his buddy did, and it looks perfect. So now what we're gonna go ahead and do is test fit our aqua box, make sure all those fit. And then we are gonna be able to keep moving on this project. liners in fabric is on top of that and now we have concrete cloth going in so the concrete cloth we're bringing in you kind of see right there those guys are just getting ready to cut it that's only gonna go on the bottom here and the reason for that is we'll have our rocks kind of surrounding this there's no way any critters or animals are gonna be able to claw through that rock major thing that we're worried about is any kind of critter that's gonna try and dig through the bottom there so that's our reasoning behind only putting the concrete cloth to the bottom we're gonna start here work our way that way and then on the initial fill we'll actually just hose down all that concrete cloth at the bottom let that set and 
and cure, and then that's gonna become rock hard. So we have just about all this concrete cloth installed. We are probably ready to start slinging rocks, and I'm excited. Slinging rocks. Slinging rocks, rocking and rolling. There's one more step actually we have to do before putting rock in. It has to do with some plumbing. I'm gonna let Ed show you what we got going on here. Ed, how much water are we pushing? <laughs> <laughs> We're only we only have two four to eight thousand pumps, but this giant chunk of pipe this is fun So we got some six inch pipe and we're creating some caves and tunnels and stuff like that Because one of the things that Blake talked about was doing some small clawed river otters So we want to make like a tunnel system behind all the rocks so that as they're swimming around They can go inside they can go out He also might put some catfish and stuff inside here So by having these caves and tunnels it's gonna allow the catfish and all those different animals that like to be out of the sunlight It'll give them a place to go who knew we were in the animal playground business, too We're gonna do some big boulders here, another big rock, and we're gonna leave a pocket open for animals to come in. They could swim through, they could pop out over this way, they can come up to the surface. We will trim all this stuff off afterwards, but this will be a really cool little unique piece. And it's all about the enrichment for the animals. We wanna to try to create uh, kind of unique things, kind of stuff that they would find in their normal habitats. And then we're also gonna be dropping in some of these big logs that Blake found over in the neighboring uh, swamp over here. We're gonna put some of those in there, and it's just all these different elements is really gonna create a cool place. It's genius! Yes. Hey Ed, what you doing? Trapping rocks. First day, first rock. You got it. Now if you look carefully, you can actually see almost a halo coming off of Ed's head there because this is such a magic moment right here. The first rock going in the pond. Reinforcements just arrived. We are gonna start flying through this rock so fast right now. I'm getting excited. That means this is the last rock, right? Last rock, absolutely. So end of day one. End of day one. Cheers. Hey, you happy, Blake? Oh, I'm happy. <laughs> Good morning guys. I did not get a chance to film the progress we made last night because we worked until dark. Now that being said, we got a lot done yesterday. You see the pump intake is almost all the way done. We have all this gravel in here. That's gonna allow water to penetrate all those aqua blocks there. Our pumps are gonna sit in there obviously. We're gonna run plumbing this morning. And then we have all this rock in. Started at two o'clock or so yesterday and that was about three or four hours worth of work. We got everybody with us today, so we are gonna be kicking butt and taking names, and it's not gonna be long before this thing has water in it. Check out these awesome, awesome logs that Blake pulled for us. All the guys just carried them over. These are gonna be some awesome edge treatments. You can see they're kind of walking one into place right now. Well, first things first this morning, gonna get a couple guys on the pump vault, gonna get all that rocked in, and then we are gonna set a couple rocks in the pond on the far side before we lose our access by digging our wetland filtration up there. So, pump vault, rocks number two, and then excavation number three. We will keep you guys with us. Right, guys a little bit of a mid-morning update you can see right over here matt and Mitchell are just absolutely killing this intake bay this was not a single rock in here this morning and these guys have almost finished it completely barely two hours into this morning the other matt over here he's finishing some edges up that's looking great what do you think about these logs they're gonna be pretty awesome for the animals that are going in here they're gonna be able to kind of play around them go in and out and they're kind of interwoven throughout the whole thing and it also makes it a little easier with the edges gives it a really cool cool edge design uh, we can just bring soil right up next to the logs i could not have said it any better myself the logs that definitely add something to the pond that we don't typically get to do we have our plumbing in for our jets that's done as well you can see greg woodstock the pond guy over here that's right i'm doing the plumbing i'm cutting my hands and enjoying my rubber wedding ring that keeps my wife happy i got one too i think ed's got one too 
We're starting a new trend here. That's how you're a contractor and stay married. Starting a trend. If you guys haven't already, make sure you check out Greg's channel. He's always looking at different ponds, representing the aquascape lifestyle. Greg Woodstock, the pond guy. Oh, who else do we have here? Ed, the pond professor. Got it. We have quite the dream team going on here today, gentlemen. 